fathers often pass along talents to their sons. It's clear that's the case with Norval and Christian Morisot. Both are known for their native art. Now Christian is working on a major commission for a collector in Windsor. Pat Jefflin met up with him today as he was putting the finishing touches on his largest work to date. Christian Morisot never imagined he'd become an artist. At age 18, he'd helped his famous father, but only by painting the backgrounds for his works. Well, one day I went really nuts on it, and uh, I must have done about 30 to 40 backgrounds for him, so I was running out of space in his house to lay them out where they can dry, so I started putting in his front lawn there, and uh, <laughs> I filled, practically filled his front lawn with all of his... Uh, paintings that I was drawing and a lot of people driving by looking at the colors and you know, it stopped a lot of traffic. It wasn't until a decade later in 2002 on another rare visit with his father that he was initiated into the art of the native legends. He grabbed the pencil and he had grabbed the pencil he had held the uh, tip by the eraser there and uh, he says to me look at this one so he grabbed it and started off with the beak and kind of went like this through here. But actually the lead, of, the lead of the pencil was actually guiding its way through the whole image there. He says, this is how you do it. He says, because the way you were doing, you were pulling your pencil. You are way down there and pulling it like that, he says. But if you do it this way, the way I showed you, then you know that's the spirit within you that's giving you this image. Christian Morisot says it took him a while to realize the gift his father had transferred to him. But eventually it sunk in. Ever since then, I started doing my own sketching, and uh, you know, I let the spirit flow through me. I uh, I don't look at uh, my father's work and try to copy it, or I don't look in books and magazines. But I just pretty much let uh, whatever comes out comes out in me. He started this painting of a thunderbird there this morning. It's I an would. homage to his mm -hmm. father. The rabbit pretty much represents uh, me as a, as a child. The large commission against the wall represents yeah, his I own blossoming it. voice, from timid rabbit to an artist was, with a uh, voice. It's time for me to start, uh, you know, letting people know exactly who I am and, uh, you know, who, what, what I intend to do with this sort of art. Windsor art collector James Pino commissioned the work. He's thrilled to have an artist of Morisot's caliber working here in his home. Pino also plans to display this new piece in his online gallery, WindsorArtGallery.com. Just so people can see it, I don't think I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I like it too much, but I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to post it now so people can see it. Basically, before I let anything go, I like to... Uh smudge them down. Morso has several upcoming exhibits planned across the country in the coming year. He prepares each piece with a traditional smudging ceremony. Pat Jefflin, CBC News, Windsor.